Hi, fourth graders. Yesterday, we revisited the idea of finding just right books, books that are just right for you. My goal as your teacher is going to be to try to find that book that gets you hooked on reading. And I swear, no matter how long it takes, I'm going to find that series, that book that makes you so excited about reading that you cannot put it down, where people come up and talk to you and you don't even hear them, where you want to read and sneak under the covers at night with a flashlight instead of going to sleep. That is my goal as your teacher. Now, with so many books to choose from, how do we narrow it down? Remember to use iPick so that you can find a good book that is just at your level, that is not too hard, not too easy, and is interesting for you. But what happens if you don't have any books at home and Bridger Library isn't open again until Thursday for you to pick up new books? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can go on Myon through your Clever app and have access to a whole other slew of books in English and Spanish. Let's get started. First, I want you to notice that we are on our Clever page. When you get to Clever, you'll see at the very top, there is a section called Favorite Resources. This is where you're gonna find any resources that you have chosen as your favorites. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's scroll down and we're gonna to get to a section that is called Read, Writing, and ELA. That really should be Reading, Writing, and ELA, but that's neither here nor there. We're gonna click on this icon that says Myon. If I wanna save Myon to the very top where I can find it super easily, all I have to do is click this little heart and now it's gonna show up as one of my favorite resources at the very top. Let's go ahead and click on it and see what happens. When I click that link, I get taken into a new window that takes me to my Myon homepage. Here, you'll be able to see a number of different things. On this page, you will see the book that you've most recently been reading. And to jump right back in, all you have to do is hover on it and click read. If you wanna add that book to your library so you can find it anytime you like, just click the heart button that says add. But what happens if you are looking for a new book? Well, here on your main page, you'll see a few different things. You'll see books that have been recommended for you by Mayan, other books that you've opened recently, and at the very top, you have a few places where you can find some new books and go exploring. We're going to click on this tab that says library. When I go in, I have a few options. Let's see what each one has. First, this one with the thumbs up that says recommended. These are books that Mayan has recommended for you. Recommended reading includes some new books, books that are popular in your grade with other fourth graders, and books that they suggest because you've expressed a specific interest. Like because you like shapes, it's given you these suggestions. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, wait, when did I say I like shapes? I don't really care that much about shapes. You can change your interests so that Mayan can give you suggestions of books that you actually want to read. Let me show you how to do that. So scrolling back up to the top of the screen, you'll see a section that says edit your interests. Let's click on that. Instantly, I get taken to a page where I've got lots of different types of books. Genres, which means different kinds of books, whether I like reading science and history and magic and fantasy, those are genres, different types of books. If I like reading lots of different types of books, I'm going to put the smiley face and click right here. If I then go down to graphic novels and cartoons, I'm going to think, do I like reading graphic novels and cartoons? If I do, I'm going to put a big smiley face. If I don't, I'm like, graphic novels, ugh, I hate reading those. I never want to see one again. I'm going to click that frowny face, and that will tell Mayan, don't suggest any books that are graphic novels and cartoons. I don't like those. When you've got things just the way you want them, make sure you go back up here to the top and click save. Now Mayan will know all the different types of books that you enjoy reading and can give you great recommendations whenever you go to this recommended page. Next, let's go over to the browse section. Just like going to a library or bookstore, browsing lets you walk down the different aisles and see which books grab your attention. However, instead of aisles here, like we would see in a bookstore or a library, we see sections or categories. So let's look at one of these topics. For example, animals. If I click on animals, 
It's going to have different subcategories like dinosaurs, insects and bugs, other animals. I can click on one of these like pets and then I see a number of different covers. Now I might look at these covers and see which one grabs my attention. Click on read and give it a little try and start the book. Then I'm gonna ask myself, is it making sense? Is it interesting to me? Do I remember what's going on in the book? All those wonderful questions we ask ourselves when choosing a just right book. To exit the book, simply click exit. If you find a book you like, but you're not ready to choose it right now, you can go ahead and click the add button. That will add it to your personal collection, which will show up under my list. A final way you might search for a book is if you have a specific topic that you're looking for. You can click on search. And then here in the search bar, you can focus on a specific topic like dogs. I go to the search bar and type in the word dogs and click search. And I see that there's 114 books that I can start to explore. To narrow it down, I'm gonna click on this filter on the side. And here I see a number of different options. I could search by fiction or nonfiction, lexile level, which is how difficult the book is, grade level, story type, and most importantly for us, by language. I'm gonna go ahead and select Español porque queremos leer libros en Español también. Y voy a hacer clic en la lupa. I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass to search one more time. And it shows that three of these books were in Spanish. So I can go ahead and add one of these to my selections to save it for later. If I change my mind, I can always hit remove. I hope these tips helped you explore my on today. Enjoy it, and I hope you can find that one good book that really gets you hooked on reading. If you need any help, I'm your gal. See you soon.